Hey, what's up guys? It is DJ. Today we've got all red mods for you. Everything new is for all platforms. We've got seven of those mods, a bunch of case mods, as well as a brand new map. We've already done previews on all of this stuff. So if you want the basics and all the little details, check those videos out. Today we're going to do a quick overview. That way you can decide which mods you want to download and which ones you don't. Starting off with our new ones. We, well, they're all new. Stiger 715 Quadrag from Custom Modding. What an epic machine. It's a monster, baby. Yeah, 778 horsepower. We got that power shift transmission, 1968 liters of fuel, and it goes 26 miles per hour. It's also 28.6 tons. Wheel options or tracks, rather. We have Lizard and Continental. Now, in Lizard, we have a lot of different stuff. So basically, you have 30, uh, was it 32 and 36. So those are going to be for the 3500 Ag. We have the 6500 Ag, the 3500 Scraper, the Gator and then back in love the gator so we're going to stick it on that but we do have continentals as well these are the conti trackman xp same setups here really like those two you know what let's just leave it there designs we have us and eu we also have oversized and a few of those may change depending on what you have for the front options which are standard 1000 pounds 2200 pounds rock box rock box with weights and standard if you were in the EU setup here, you go with the weights, everything still shows. However, if you go with the rock box or the rock box and weights, that front setup disappears. So it may be important to figure out which one you want to go with there. Windows, we have default, light tint, dark tint, black, and default. In cabin monitors, we've got none. Field viewer, precision planting, precision planting and field viewer, real dashboard, field viewer and real dashboard, and none. Depending on which ones these you choose, you can actually switch between different things that are on the monitors, between things that are just visual and things that actually work. I did a full video on that. Make sure you guys go check that out. Four coverings, we have default, cardboard, and carpet. Let's go with the carpet, I like that. Exhaust options, I'm running out of room here in my breath. Default and a rain cap. I actually like the rain cap better. I know it's not the US style, but I, I like that. And then on the rear hitch, we have regular rear hitch, rear weight bracket, 3,100 pounds, 4,500 pounds, sorry, and then quick hitch. Fleet numbers are gonna be around towards the front. We've got those, they do match the setup, so we go three for Dale as always. Colors, we have the Case H red, we have all black silver, which looks fantastic. And then we have Steiger green, how cool is that? That's so cool, man. Design colors, these are gonna be the seats inside. So we've got the red leather, black leather, gray leather, and Steiger green. These are all the same colors as everything else, so you could go with whatever you like. I'm gonna go with the gray because that's gonna hurt less whenever it's hot. And there you go, that's your customization options for the Steiger 715 Quadrack. Sounds are epic, and there are a few things that we can do. Like I mentioned, we've got uh, things for the monitor we also have door and uh let's see if i can make it work here you could spin around on the inside which is pretty darn cool and the steering wheel got all that of course in addition to the monitors next we got the case age magnum afs 260 connect sugarcane 284 horsepower on here power shift transmission 788 liters of fuel 24 miles an hour and weighs 12.8 tons wheel options we've got a few here trilobog michelin continental minus bkt rotostan and back in again you cannot change any of these so whatever you choose it just is what it is front weights we have a standard 650 980 and back standard again wheel weights these are separate so we have the 450 1350s and back to zip curtains cabin curtains we've got the front right rear front and rear missing configuration uh -oh. and then all curtains so we've got those those curtains can be utilized so we'll go with that a rear cabin plate we've got with bracket and plate and no bracket and plate uh i'm gonna go with uh no bracket plate because it says case h there we want to show that window colors we have clear and dark we've also got side turn signals yes and no we're gonna go with them and then attachment types on the back we have a three point and we have no hydraulic so if you guys want to run with that you can that's totally cool seat material on the inside we have fabric and leather and then we got our license plate a ton of animations on this one so we've got right door opening or left door opening rather we've got rear glass which opens that's pretty cool we also have the front which opens up that's so neat and then we've got steering wheel which goes up and down 
And lastly, we've got our shades that go up and down. More case mods today. The Case Age Puma Short Wheelbase, Long Wheelbase. And we've got both versions of those. So let's just start with the Shorty. 182 horsepower, power shift transmission, 395 liters of fuel, 24 miles an hour. It weighs eight tons. Very cool tractor right here. We've got Trelleborg. We also have Continental, Midas, Michelin, BKT, Rittestein, and back in. Now these, we have a standard a wide tires, which just changes the rear heads up there, rear twins, and then we have a sugarcane setup. So if you want to run sugarcane, you can do that. But if you don't want to, you can actually use these uh, elsewhere, how all you want. So let's, uh, let's choose a Continental. I think it looks pretty good. Front weights, we have 200, 400, 600, and back to zero. Wheel weights, we have 200, 400, 600, and back to nothing again. Windows, we have clear, mid, and dark. So this is a little bit different than our uh, Magnum mod. Curtains, we have yes and no. So that's just going to be, I think, one around towards the front, and that's it. Attachments, we have standard and sugar cane. So check this out. So there's your uh, sugar cane without three point, and here's your standard. So we've got those if you want them. And seat materials on here. We do start with a gray, so we have gray on here instead of just red. So fabric, uh, gray and red, and leather, gray and red. And your license plate. And of course, we have our animations as well. We have the side door. We've got the rear window. We've also got a seat which goes forwards and backwards. Very, very interesting there. And then we've got a few other things. We can turn the seat. We can raise and lower the front curtain and we can raise and lower the seat or you can do it all at the same time <laughs> as for the long wheelbase we're pretty much going to see the same customization options however this is 234 horsepower power shift transmission 410 liters filled 24 miles an hour and weighs 8.6 tons so there you go otherwise uh, everything else is exactly the same how's about a sprayer we got the patriot 250 sugar cane 177 horsepower on here with a variable transmission we got 319 liters of fuel goes 37 miles per hour holds 2500 liters weighs 11 tons it's got a 32 meter spread at 15 miles per hour now working widths we can make that 27 meters if we want to if we go for the special bar for sugar cane if you do that it's only going to unfold halfway the top section will not unfold I think it looks pretty cool. Wheel options, we have a standard and narrow tire, and you can spread these out. Uh, reserv reservatory? I think anyway we get 200 extra liters jumping in here's our sprayer we're gonna bring it up to the road to make it a little bit easier to unfold so we will get that going now so there that goes and that's as much as it unfolds so these sides are not gonna come out that is all we get right there we can raise and lower this as much as we want and they have thought about it they can't go all the way down which is very very nice do we also have a few other things as well like a front shade in here and then let's see open cover brings our sign down and if i remember correctly yeah there's our wide tires uh, one heads up this does not have different uh, dry modes, so it is front steer only. Next to last, we have a Cedar. This is the Fast Riser 6127. Holds 5,540 liters of seed. Uh, I believe there's also some... Uh Nope, nope, just seed. All right, 240 horsepower, 15 meters, and nine miles an hour. It is a Case IH Cedar, which is super duper cool. It is also a direct drill, which is nice. Now, it says, uh, or I said rather, Cedar, this is a planter. So it's going to be doing corn, sunflowers, soybeans. It will also do sugar beets and cotton. And the last mod is going to be the Case IH Early Riser 3215. This holds 4,490 liters, and that is going to be seed and solid fertilizer combined it is a planter as well however it is not a direct drill so it's up there 200 horsepower is required 6.8 meters and 9 miles an hour and you can fold the hitch as well so this is really nice you can fold the hitch and lift it up put it on trailer stuff like that it's kind of cool uh, we do also have different hitch heights if you want to uh, adjust those you can do that very neat and lastly today we got a new map for all platforms this is el dorado from connect modding now this in partnership with case ih brazil actually every single mod except for the first one that we talked about today that quad track i've got a full video out on this one so make sure you check that out for all the little details like what is the slurry tanks thing here mean? Check that video out for that. Make sure to leave it linked at the end of the video. However, for everything else, what you need to know is down here at the bottom right hand corner, this is all you get in new farmer mode. Uh, so you will have to buy little plots of land if you want to 
add different things around. Like you could buy the area the shops on if you really want to. Uh, pretty much the entire map. You can almost buy the entire map, which is so cool. You can even buy the sugarcane factory in the middle for $3.4 million. And then there's a little hidden thing right here. Right as the train goes by, we've got this spot here. This is a production. This is something that a lot of people will probably look by. It is the cane sugar plant for $1.5 million. So in order to own all of this stuff, you're gonna be spending close to $5 million for all of that which is pretty epic. One other thing worth mentioning is when you load in, the shop might actually be closed. So you may have to fast forward a little bit of time for the shop to open. For me, that was right at noon. The front doors will open and the gates will open, all of that. So make sure you wait for that every day. Uh, we do only own one thing, we have cars. That's it, a oh, car it, it, and not even. But one of the neat things is because this was a partnership with Case IH, there's a lot of assets and things that we may not have seen in other maps. We have a full shop here. Uh, if we go around towards the back, we've got another uh, entryway. Up top, a bunch of uh, I don't know, building things. Yeah, building things. But if you go all the way down here to the end, we have the shop itself. On the bottom, on the floor, you can see all of the lines where you can work on things, and they've extended it out the back, so if you've got something that can't fit in these doors, by the way, if you have a piece of equipment that doesn't fit in those doors, send me a picture. I want to see that because I need proof. Uh, we've got all kinds of little stuff. That's one door you can't open, unfortunately, but very cool, very epic. You have your own Case IH service. <laughs> That's just awesome. If you don't want that, well, head across right over from the gas station. This is gonna be a place where you can work on your vehicles and it's actually a little bit cheaper if you come over here. So just worth mentioning there and you can see all the triggers that we've got for that. I don't know where they start, but they extend all the way out. So that's one. Okay, there's that one. Does it extend all the way out of here too? No, I just don't know where it starts. <laughs> whatever also important to note our crop information if we jump over and take a look at some crops here's well everything that we've got however if we take a look at growth here you can see there is no growth for barley canola or oats uh there is nothing for sunflowers either and i think that's it in addition we also have black beans and coffee beans which have been added uh, you can use the jackdo mods from jackdo and connect modding those will work perfectly fine the thing that is interesting is the barley, canola, oats, and sunflowers all have sell points. So I I don't I don't know how that works. That's a really annoying bird. <laughs> so super awesome map, very different from almost anything that we have seen so far up to this point. It is a South American map it's based in Brazil. So uh, some people only like American maps or European maps. Well, technically this is a European, USA map. There we go. Uh, so there may be certain styles of maps that you like, but I will say this, give it a try, give it a download, play on it a little bit, see how you like it. This is definitely one of those mods that I think everyone should at least give a try. However, there is one thing to mention. There are some required mods, the barbed wire fence and wooden gates, Brazilian fences pack, and wired fence and rail gate. This is because these bits that are on the map can be deleted. So it makes it a little bit easy, I guess. And that is it. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, get subscribed, join the GoHand fam, double check that notification bell. That way you never miss farming simulator videos like this one. Big shout out to Farmer Cop. He's been here with me all week this week. We had a great time doing a vlog last week. We had a great time doing other stuff. So make sure you check all of that out if you haven't seen it already. As far as the mods go, uh, this was an epic week. Five mods in a row, five days. I don't remember the last time that happened. We got real lucky this week. Hope you have an awesome Easter weekend. See you guys Monday.